what is going on Pisces welcome back to the channel elevated spirits it's Jazzy your reader for today this is gonna be your new moon reading that is taking place on January 21st um, this year obviously it's happened in the sign of Aquarius I believe if you follow Western astrology but if you follow Sadie Realis in the sign of Capricorn I could have that backwards but forgive me if I do um, for those of you that are interested in booking a personal private reading um, <clears throat> checking out your other elements playlists um, donating to the channel, getting your own copy, um, checking out my other, um, checking out the Etsy wish list. All that information can and will be found in the description box of every single one of my videos. So if you're interested, feel free to check that out. So <clears throat> some numbers you guys might be seeing at this time. We have eight. So Libra also got eight. So some of you may be done with the Libra. Um, Libra be, may be of significance to you at this time. Um, <clears throat> this could be playing out in your eighth house, okay? Um, some of you maybe have a life path number, okay? So then we have one. Virgo got one as well, so maybe dealing with either one of those signs. Maybe a life path number one. Maybe born on the first. Maybe the first of this month was significant to you, okay? And we have ten, okay? So some of you may be a life path number ten. Maybe born on the tenth. The tenth of this month could have been of significance to you. <clears throat> these energies may be playing out in your 10th house okay all right spirit so for pisces what is the theme for pisces what is the theme for this new moon for pisces spirit <clears throat> Ooh, hell yeah chalice fulfillment so some of you this is a time where something you've maybe been wishing for, a few things um, you're actually starting to get, okay? I feel like because some of you have done the healing and you've actually allowed yourself to step into your power, step into your purpose as a healer, um, I feel like you're starting to be, you're going to see rewards for that. If you haven't been, you will be, but for some of you, that's the energy that you're currently in. Um, <clears throat> I feel like some of you maybe have starting, have been, have been started to see like trickles, like like you know small things i feel like small things even manifesting is starting to show itself you're starting to get like little you know like when it starts raining you know what i mean like when it first starts raining before it starts raining heavy it's kind of like that so i feel like some of you pisces are currently in that energy where you know spirit is starting to slowly the water going into your cup is is you know slowly get starting to get filled okay so we have oh look at you showing up in your own reading pisces first quarter moon in pisces honor your feelings absolutely <clears throat> interesting yeah i agree completely so spirit really wants you guys to um you know really be honest with yourself about how you feel okay attend to the details last quarter moon in virgo so first and last so this may be the first time you're doing one thing but the last time we're doing something else okay I feel like for some of you, you're in this energy of maybe this is the last time um, I'll ever discount how I feel. And this is the first time that maybe some of you are actually being real with how you feel. Okay. And I feel like because of maybe that simple dynamic of that being your first and last time of those things for some of you could be exactly what's bringing in something you've been um, that's going to make you really happy. Something that um, could be, like I said, something you've been wishing for, praying for. Um, where you just feel this abundance of love this could just be your you know love for yourself where finally you guys maybe this is the first time that you're actually honoring your own feelings and actually being happy and feeling like wow that's what that feels like to actually love on myself fully and completely that's what that feels like I feel like some of you may be coming into that energy of you know <clears throat> really loving yourself really feeling how that feels to love yourself I need to get you one of these so let's see spirit for Pisces for some of you, it's bringing you closer to your wish fulfillment. I mean, not to your wish, your uh, life purpose. Okay. Some of you may be having like a brand new start to something. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Forgiveness. Okay. So obviously you're probably being guided to um, forgive someone at this time, including yourself. If you don't forgive anyone else, at least forgive yourself. I mean, I, I know it's difficult to you know do either at times but that is some of the best form of karma that you could ever ask for is by way of forgiveness the karma that comes from forgiveness is a whole nother beast in itself okay all right so let's get your money for your finances for pisces money for your finances for pisces during this new moon 
these. <clears throat> some of you may be working on your goals or you're needing to. I feel like something that you've been asking for or working towards, you're finally getting it. It's finally maybe being completed. This could be a goal. Some of you, um, this could, you could be club promoters or work in the entertainment industry in some type of way where you guys like maybe advertise or market like you could be guys i feel like some of you may be in like marketing or something i feel like you're maybe making had set some goal um with like promoting your business or something like that some of you may have had a goal to get promoted in your job and you're getting and you're getting that raise you're getting that um that job promotion i feel like for some of you because you you know maybe stuck up for yourself in something or maybe you know ask for a raise to like you know defending yourself like yo i deserve this okay <clears throat> I feel like some of you honored your feelings. That is what Spirit is talking about with honoring your feelings. Or some of you may be challenged with your work or your career about being real with yourself and be honest about, you know, um, maybe things that are happening or changes that are being made around your workplace or within your business or career or something and how it's affecting you. Um, I feel like some of y'all may have went off on someone but and you're maybe coming back, you know, asking for forgiveness. But I feel like, you know, there may be being it's like giving me energy of like if like say you you went off on someone right you went off on like so let's say your boss and i feel like some of you may have kind of like um you know felt like damn like oh shit i should say sorry because you know i might get fired i feel like some of you are kind of like given a pass in a sense because you stuck up for yourself you actually defended yourself you actually spoke from your heart and i feel like they know that and that's why i feel like maybe some type of punishment you thought you would get i feel like you asked for forgiveness and you're being gifted that or maybe you're just being let off the hook you know what i'm saying i feel like some of you just maybe because your heart was in the right place you know what i'm saying i feel like some of you are just being forgiven for it like the universe is forgiving you for something so and i feel like it's just maybe being reflected in other places in your life okay where it's like proving to you that wow i got forgiveness i got got a pass on that okay so can i have one more piece for pisces regarding their money for finances <clears throat> We have control and change. Control and change. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, um, Spirit really wants you to release the control about how maybe things should show up. I feel like your your finances are going through a change right now. And just like the seasons change. So maybe if you were struggling financially, you're coming into financial abundance. I feel like you're coming into financial prosperity. Where like if things have been like you feel like maybe your finances are like frozen. I feel like some of you that you're coming out of that energy where it's like the ice is now melting. You see what I'm saying? Like how it's going from winter to summer. It's like where um, like maybe it feels like your your finances or your that momentum of forward progression is has been like frozen or like at a standstill. I feel like that's starting to warm up now where like the, that momentum and could be due to um, Mars going direct now as well. OK, that's the energy, the planet of passion and energy and drive, motivation, determination, you know, action, all that stuff. So I feel like for some of you, things are starting to warm up now where um, the goals that maybe you once had towards maybe getting a promotion or promoting your business or something like that, um, that stuff is starting to, I feel like it, the the results of that are, you're starting to see the results of that, okay? So we have goals. Don't let the world lead you. Take the steering wheel and take control of your life. This could be a good time to write down your goals and aspirations. Focus on creating and managing a budget, okay? So you may want to create a budget for maybe funds that you put towards promoting something. Maybe some of you may be running ads or wanting or considering running like Facebook ads or something. I feel like Spirit wants you to maybe set aside a fund that funds that specific task. Okay. If there is a new idea or project manifesting, know it has great potential for success. Careers in the nightlife industry, events, or restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy you want to attract. Absolutely. So it's like getting or allowing yourself to really be in that vibration, okay? Feeling it already. Are you feeling it already? Feeling as if it's already done, right? That's what it actually has, it allows things to manifest. So control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. 
sometimes blessings come in disguise stay open minded to the to see the potential okay Some of y'all also may have ended up like, I feel like some of y'all may be in this forgiveness energy by, because you may have gotten upset with somebody about something or um, maybe got upset with spirit, you know, about why something you got maybe released from a job, not realizing that it was like making room for something way, way better. I feel like for some of you, you may be kind of like now, now say sorry. Like, I feel like for some of you, you're getting like this energy of spirit is like, say sorry. You know, you were all yelling at us about why this happened and blah 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 not realizing that it was something that was helping maybe change your life for the better so i feel like some of y'all may owe spirit an apology i'm just saying or your guides some somebody okay somebody some being all right that's been helping y'all y'all owe somebody an apology i feel here okay they're i feel like they're they're looking out for you more than you realized all right now they want you to change your outlook okay on your situation change your outlook on money all right oh shit Hey, Pisces. See ya. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really getting that for you guys, though. Like, some of y'all, this, whatever this fulfillment is, whenever you, whatever it is that you're getting that's coming to you that you've been asking for, however that manifests, I feel like y'all are going to be saying sorry to Spirit afterwards. You're going to be, like, kind of low-key to a point kissing Spirit's ass, in, in a sense, you know because of how good how good you got it how good you feel you know what what is brought in place of something that may be left okay so what's going on for pisces regarding your love life during this time this new moon what is okay hmm so for those of you you may have recently gone through heartbreak um you may have, maybe have recently experienced a loss this could have been of a mother um a mother figure someone that maybe meant a lot you know to you someone that maybe acted or play be like maybe played as a mother figure to some of you it could have been like an auntie um or a grandmother i feel like some of you are kind of like maybe grieving this energy at this time that's maybe showing up in you know uh, your connection okay for some of you this could just be um this could also be some of you like i said have, have recently gone through a heartbreak where you're now in this energy of trying to heal trying to heal yourself take care of yourself um kind of like nurse yourself and nurture yourself back to health okay in a sense um and that's that's you know doesn't always have to be just sickness that's that can definitely be within your like you know um emotional space as well okay so i feel like some of you are in that energy of working on that right now maybe still trying to heal yourself from a um recent breakup that maybe some of you have gone through okay i feel like this could definitely be someone coming towards you okay that's asking for forgiveness and spirit really wants you to maybe honor how it is that you feel about the situation or about this person so that way maybe at the end of the day things will get you'll get what you want out of the situation maybe things will go in your favor because you honored your own feelings in the situation and you know got what you wanted okay so queen of pentacles yeah so for some of you this is like um because you know your worth and you decided to do the healing and you know essentially do what's best for you spirit may be granting some of you um a long-term commitment okay someone who is actually loyal someone who actually wants to be with you long term someone who's willing to give you um or compromise you know with you all the things that you need out of out of a connection okay um so <clears throat> interesting and i feel like it's it's just because you know you stuck true you stay true to who you are and what you wanted and i feel like you're being granted that you're being gifted that okay Sometimes that's what spirit wants. It's like spirit's more than willing to give us what we want, but we have to make sure that for one, we really want it, and two, that we actually believe that we're worthy and deserving of having it, right? So let's see what else is going on with um, Pisces and love spirit. <clears throat> so for some of you, this could be something that's coming towards you, okay? Someone's offering this to you, or you guys are in this energy of, you know, being in a long-term commitment, um, maybe attracting that during this time where some of you may be feeling like because you're still healing you may not be exactly ready for it okay yeah some of you are definitely still guarded at this time because of i feel like what you've recently experienced but i feel like it's like if spirit is forgiving you forgive yourself you know is, is also what i'm getting here you know like feel how you need to feel about it right if you feel shameful feel that if you feel sad feel that if you feel like you've lost something feel that feel however it is you need to feel but then allow yourself to forgive yourself you know what I'm saying? Forgive the other person or whoever else was involved in the situation because that's the best way to, you know, get the karmic scales of justice balanced, you know, um, balanced and in your favor, okay? By you allowing yourself to release that from your own energy, all right? So, yeah. 
nine of pentacles here some of you are focused on yourself because you're really um i feel like you're still guarded your boundaries are up at this time i feel like some of you have been hurt you've gone through quite a bit and i feel like some of you just may not be yet ready to um you know accept any offers at this time some of you may be still like i said healing really trying to get your finances um together some of you may be really more focused on you know um using what you have okay using um maybe some of you if you're like still if you're like say had money saved some of you are kind of like figuring out how can i um you know expand my resources how can i invest what i have here and make it grow okay how do i you know help that take me forward because i feel like some of you are just kind of like really overwhelmed you have a lot going on you've already been through a lot and you're just like i'm about ready to quit i'm about ready to give the fuck up okay um but obviously please don't do that okay so i feel like you're you're definitely close you're closer than what you thought this is what's underneath it all okay so i feel like for some of you whatever goal you've had or just regaining your a sense of independence okay you're you're coming into that energy here you may not see it yet all right because like i said this is what's un what's underneath the deck so this is what's unseen is that you're going to regain and restore that sense of independence that self-sufficiency that stability that maybe some of you um may have you know lost control over or didn't have for quite some time you know i feel like you guys are in this space of forgiveness forgiving yourself for any you know mistakes or things that you feel like you've made or done and the spirit is also forgiving you as well okay all right spirit what else for pisces <clears throat> writing my love life what else going on for pisces i love okay Ooh, beautiful ten of pentacles so for some of you Oh, this is what your what spirit is giving you after you allow this this forgiveness the, like with you allowing this and really being true to yourself and how you feel about something that is how you're attracting this i feel like because you didn't you didn't quit you know what i'm saying you didn't quit on yourself you kept going you stood you stood strong and you know tall for what it is that you want what it is you believe in and that's why you're getting everything you want here okay for some of you you're getting the marriage the love the the inheritance the abundance like this is everything this is the happiest card for me as a reader in the deck not the sun this is the happiest card this is not only the love the family the community this is legacy wealth generational wealth okay wealth and, and that could be more than the form of money okay but that can be in many different forms right wealth comes in many different forms but this is having beyond enough of it more than you maybe know what to do even do with okay hell yeah and then we have the fool yes this is like a brand new fucking life okay spirit i feel like because you honored how you felt and allowed yourself to forgive yourself spirit is now forgiving you and allotting you like a whole fucking brand new life pisces i feel like spirit knows how much you've gone through and the fact that you guys were so fucking hurt and for some of you went through so much fucking pain and heartache but still picked yourself back up still nursed your own self back to health okay and use what you had to do that to keep going to keep fighting to not give up spirit is now granting you a brand new fucking life where you're not going to have to worry about certain things anymore i feel like some of you you're not going to ever have to worry about money again because of what you've gone through and what you allowed yourself to overcome okay by being real with yourself by honoring your feelings and honoring that this shit is fucked up or that you know i did make a mistake but i'm fixing it like whatever it is spirit is like gifting you a whole fucking brand new life here a whole like brand new beginning wow okay a chance to like totally reinvent yourself to like start over start over from scratch but not really from scratch start over from, from experience damn that's dope spirit what else anything else for pisces and love what else can i look forward to wow yeah you're definitely i feel like this has been a long time coming you guys have worked really hard for this and now you're finally getting to celebrate it for some of you this could definitely obviously be a reconciliation energy okay someone that maybe um has hurt you before or maybe you hurt them but i feel like some of you may be working through your differences and working things out but i really more so feel like this is for some of you um this is something new here that you're celebrating okay something like i said you've been waiting quite some time for it maybe took you know a lot of work on yourself right a lot of energy and effort you put into to yourself to you know really get to this point and you're finally being able to celebrate that okay some of you may meet this person while you're out and about okay you may meet them at, they may be someone that wants to invest in you okay that's crazy this person may want to invest in a business okay that could be how your finances are changing for some of you a goal maybe maybe that was for some of you that was a goal that you had 
And maybe the person that's investing in your business is the same person you end up fucking dating. <sighs> that's crazy. Look, Knight of Wands, someone that is passionate about you. They have a lot of passion for you. That is bananas. All right. Ooh, shop. All right, Pisces. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is interesting. Interesting reading so far, Pisces. Not gonna lie. All right. Um, so what egoic energy is Pisces releasing during this new moon? Or what can they release during this new moon? What is the egoic type of energy that Pisces can release during this new moon? Mm, okay. So basically like this feeling of you know not enough that i'm not enough or i don't have enough that's a lie you need to see the truth about that you need to get some clarity around that okay where is pisces at currently are there energies that currently you guys are taking things one step at a time i feel like you're kind of like indecisive about where to go but if, as long as you're but i feel like some of you it's like as long you know that as long as you don't give up meaning you don't quit that you'll be okay you'll eventually figure it out you'll eventually find your way and that's exactly where you need to be okay so let's see what doors are trying to open up or manifest at this time for Pisces? Ooh, like I said, investment. Okay, someone that you're gonna that wants to invest in you. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Lightning. Like I said, for some of you, it was a goal. It was a goal for you to have maybe some type of an investor that maybe wants to invest in this new idea, this new project, this this new beginning. Someone that wants to invest, whether it's a business idea or just like a new you know life, like a new relationship, right? So I feel like for some of you, that is exactly what this opportunity has presented itself here. Make sure that you communicate clearly though, okay? Get all your information, get all the details to whatever this is, whatever offer this is, if it's a contract, whatever the fuck it is, okay? Especially during this time because Mercury is in retrograde, okay? So don't forget that this is a time where it's like, it doesn't mean that, oh, Mercury's in retrograde, I have to put this off and I have to wait till it's, in, till it's direct before I can sign this thing or make this decision. No, you don't. You just have to make sure that you dot your I's, cross your T's, and you'll be good double check triple check quadruple check if you need to but you know be clear about things make sure you have you know ask all the questions that you might you know need to know or get all the the documentation all those things just make sure all your shit is together okay you'll be fine all right so um what is in pisces hopes and fears spirit during this new moon what is in pisces hopes and fears please hmm so some of you, you're hoping that you that you'll be able to pull this off without um, losing anything to do it, okay? But some of you are definitely fearful that you know in that that accountability that while yes I can you know while it's possible that I pull this off and it goes in my favor I'm just I would be just as responsible if this thing crashed and burned I would be just as liable for it, okay? So I feel like for some of you there's like this you know. Um, you're hoping that you'll that you know you can that whatever it is that you're trying to create whatever it is that you have set out to manifest whatever it is that you intended actually comes to fruition and you don't regret it like you know that whole be careful what you wish for i feel like some of you are like hopeful that you know you'll be able to to manifest whatever this is and not regret have any regrets about it you know like not feeling any different or letting it change you as a person by having it okay Okay, so what is the best next step that Pisces can take? What is the best next step that they can take? Pisces. King of Lightning and the Judgment. Beautiful. So that is about making a decision, okay? King of Candles at the bottom, that's King of Wands. So this is about making a head over heart decision, using your logic at this time, okay? This is not the time to be emotional about anything. This is the time to really... Put the emotions aside and be logical, making a head over heart decision, using our knowledge, our wisdom, our intellect to make our choices, to make a final judgment call in a situation. If this is something that is returning, this is removing our emotions, setting those aside and really being logical about the situation, really asking the rough questions, the tough questions, really seeing, does this make sense? Really asking those hard questions and being honest about it, being clear and cutting out anything, any fluff that may um, cause, uh, you know, destruction, like a um distorted judgment right anything that makes it where you can't see something clearly we're cutting that away okay that's the best thing you can do is be honest with yourself okay communicate clearly when it comes to any decisions that you need to make okay 
but this is also about answering the call, okay? Being honest with yourself, cutting out anything that's distracting you from maybe being in your calling because the judgment also speaks of your calling, your destiny, what you're being called to do in this lifetime. So for some of you, this is getting clear about that where the, you know, getting clear about it. Some of you are clear about it. And now it's up to you to really answer the call and start taking action on it. Okay. So for some of you, that is what your next best step is as well, where you're being gifted something that's going to make you happy. And it's going to be important Like you've been forgiven for something. You've been let off the hook with something, but now it's time for you to step into service, step into purpose. Okay. So when we clarify that, then we'll get more information on, on where that, where spirit has taken us with that. So let's... Get, start clarifying shall we all right so spirit for pisces <clears throat> this energy that they can release this egoic energy i'm doing this reading this reading is themed like this um because of um the new moon being in capricorn so this is about our ego okay to help us integrate that during this new moon so we can allow in the things that we want and obviously you guys are on the right track for that because it's right here in your reading okay so spirit for pisces what is this five of cups and the ace of lightning for the energy that you want them to release i feel like some of you want to release this i need to spirit is asking you to release this idea that you know that you're like i said before like you don't have enough you're not smart enough you don't you don't know enough for some of you okay i'm not taking all these because none of them fill out but we have the hermit um showing up here again so i feel like for some of you this is about you know really going within allow yourself to really um face your face your shadows face your demons and look here we have the nine of swords with the um with the um death card the transformation so some of you may have scorpio in your chart maybe dealing with the scorpio at this time um but this is about you know really seeing the truth of a situation that you know this may be causing you a great deal of stress but it's doing this it's like forcing change here i feel like for some of you you're not maybe seeing the blessing that's coming in disguise of this challenge and spirit is maybe wanting you to release this idea that maybe well if if this happened it's too hard for me to get out of it i feel like no this is pushing you and it's maybe causing a sense of stress just showing you where things need to change right what i was talking about earlier um with i believe when i did yeah virgo's reading i was telling them about um that we only stress about things that we lack preparation in right um, so if you're prepared, there's nothing to stress out about, right? You'll know that you're ready for anything whenever it comes. So I feel like for some of you, that's what this is also speaking to, that, you know, this situation is not here to, you know, throw you off balance or make you feel like you can't do it or you're not capable, but it's just showing you where, how maybe sometimes we create our own stress. We create our own um, anxiety, right? We need to see things clearly that if we got ourselves in this situation, we could also get ourselves out, but also seeing where this could have been prevented, okay? Where things maybe are due for change. Things can't stay how they've been. Something needs to change. Something needs to shift, and we can't ignore that anymore, okay? So I feel like for some of you, if that's what you've been dealing with, where it's trying, it's time to show you, it's like something showing you where something can't continue to exist in that way. It needs to shift. It needs to change. Something has to die, and be redone, restarted, rebirthed, re, you know, totally reset in some type of way. Okay. So where you guys are at currently is the Knight of Pumpkins and the Two of Lightning. Okay. So um, I feel like this is the energy of where you guys are at currently is kind of like not, I feel like you may be not seeing the progress you want to see just yet. And I feel like it's taking its time because, you know, as we know, but forget sometimes that anything worth having doesn't come easily or quickly so i feel like for something that may be taking quite some time to come this is spirit's way of letting you know that you know it's it's taking its time or it's taking quite some time because for one things come when, you, when it's necessary like when it's time like you can't rush a baby right um otherwise you have malfunctions and you know um dysfunctions and conditions and things like that that come when we don't when the baby doesn't have that full nine months of growth and development you know given before birth right so i feel like for some of you um you kind of like maybe are in this energy currently of questioning something you know kind of like because you don't see it you think that there's no progress being made you think that maybe something isn't coming or that you don't deserve something because you don't see it yet and i feel like it may be taking quite some time to get there but i feel like it's maybe an opportunity as well it's presenting an opportunity for you guys to really be honest with yourself here and ask yourself how bad do i really want this okay how much energy or time am i willing to give this how much longer am i willing to put energy time and effort into this before i decide that this is not going to work or that you know i i wish i didn't spend that much time on this okay this is the you know it's time to be really honest with yourself and realize that anywhere you 
you know, that you're strong enough to, to do whatever needs to be done here. You just need to be honest about it. Okay. Be honest with what's causing you stress, what's making you, what's giving you anxiety here. And you know what that is that needs to change. So now it's time for you to really be honest with yourself, you know, see something, the truth of, of a situation and, you know, make the shift. You know, we all know that the only way to truly change something is by being that change that we want to see. So I feel like some of you are being challenged in that way at this time as well to really, you know, show yourself that, you know, if you want to see change in your life, you have to, it starts with you. Okay. So spirit, let's um, clarify this current energy for Pisces, the Knight of Pumpkins with the Two of Lightning. So this is about following your intuition. Okay. We have the intuition card, the High Priestess. So this card is um, also a very spiritual card. Okay. She has occult knowledge which is hidden knowledge knowledge that just isn't going to be um just out always for the world to see this knowledge comes from directly from the ethers at times her from her direct connection to the divine to the higher you know the creator um prime source energy okay so i feel like for some of you um you guys are in this energy of maybe trying to you know um follow your intuition at this time about what to do about where to go um the plans that maybe some of you are trying to make I feel like also, you know, spirit may be hiding something from you at this time because spirit wants to make sure that when it presents it to you, you're ready for it. So I feel like for some of you that things aren't clear at this time because it's being hidden from you. Okay, this could be people around you that may be hiding things or like I said, this is spirit that's hiding something that's manifesting for you um, because it's not time for you to have it yet. Okay, spirit, I feel like is really trying to make sure that when you get it, you know what to do with it and you actually appreciate it because you know how much work you put in to get it. Okay. So, um, Spirit, let's clarify the page of lightning with the, and look at the Knight of Pumpkins, the Knight of um, Pentacles, okay? So it's showing up twice here, back to back, with from one question to the next, okay? So the opportunity that's opening up here is, like I said, for some of you, this is coming in the form of an idea, okay? But, this, but for others of you, this is maybe um, a message, like someone communicating with you that they want to invest in you. They want to, um, you know, offer you some type of opportunity for long term like you know maybe for some of you this could be like a job extending your contract for some of you where something um it may have been a, uh, like a temporary position that they're deciding to extend and you know make it more long term make it you know like i said extend the contract by for however long you know whatever that is for some of you this could be def definitely um representing a home okay something you've been asking for um but i really feel like it's it could be definitely talking about your work talking about career for some of you because this is pinnacle energy here so the pinnacles definitely obviously represent material material realms material wealth so you know that's the physical so like i said could definitely be talking about a home an establishment um a business a um could be talking about money an investment a job promotion okay something like that your i feel like your finances are definitely changing though so for some of you if you've been waiting to get a job waiting for like you know things to change in a um you know financially that's definitely changing here okay but it's i feel like it's you know you need to stop stressing about it first and know that things are changing okay some of you you just can't see it yet and that's and that's why spirit doesn't want you to focus on what you can't control for some of you you've done all you can do in this situation so now it's time for you to really leave the rest up to spirit and just say you know what i did all i can do right so it's like the same thing when you apply for a job you apply for the job you give you know give your resume whatever they asked for you submit it and after that what you know what do you do after that you wait right typically we wait depending on how long you feel like waiting before you give them a call or try to follow up typically most of us right we put in our application and we just wait you know put the rest in the hands of the universe and decide okay if it's meant for me they will call me right and we trust just same way you put in your amazon order right you decide what you want put in your cart pay for it and from there you have a guesstimate about when your package will come and you let amazon take care of the rest it's the same type of thing so i feel like for some of you you know um you're being presented here an opportunity to maybe invest in something whether it's investing yourself someone wants to invest in you um but yeah i feel like it's definitely something that you may want to get more information about this could be maybe a company that you want to invest in maybe a franchise for some of you that you're considering investing in um, I feel like it could be definitely something that's long term, but spirit, because Mercury is in retrograde, spirit wants you to make sure that you're being um, mindful and really um, detail oriented 
about the decisions you make before you make them, especially during this time, because miscommunication, things like that are highly likely during this time, okay? And I'm gonna tell you again, because at the bottom of this deck, we talked about this at the very beginning of the reading, but last quarter moon in Virgo attend to the details. So like I said, again, this isn't a time to necessarily say that just because Mercury is in retrograde that you should not make major decisions. You should, should not sign major contracts. While yes, some astrologers do advise that, I have recent, you know, more got a different view of that. And I now, um, I don't aspire to that. Anymore. Like I don't subscribe to that anymore. I believe this, you know, that you, it just is an opportunity for you to be more mindful, really dot your I's, cross your T's, you know, read things over a few times if you need to really have your shit, you know, in a, you know, together, right. Have your ducks in a row, all those things. That is what, what, you know, Mercury retrograde gives us an opportunity to do. So I feel like some of you have an opportunity to really invest in something that could grow and flourish and go long term but it's you know going to be up to you what you do with this with the opportunity but also making sure that you have all of your you know ducks in a row when you um you know go for this so um let's see your hopes and fears so in your hopes and fears i feel like some of you are hoping that this will manifest and that you won't regret how this plays out i really don't feel like you will it, it seems like your whole reading, Pisces, is on upswing of positive changes here. So I really feel like for those of you that are worried or concerned about how this is going to play out, how this is going to manifest, and, you know, all that, I feel like you really don't have anything to worry about. So, Spirit, can we clarify, what's the magician and the five potions for Pisces justice? Exactly. This is like karma is being served, okay? You're on the upswing of karma, okay? I feel like some of you, it's like, obviously, if you know you've been fucking up and, and things are starting to play out, you know, in your life in that way as payback or, you know, like, you know what you've done. But I feel like for most of you, this is like, if you're, if you're like, so for, let's say, for example, for those of you that are worried, will karma catch up to you? Okay. Did you create some type of karma for yourself? You may have, you'll know if you, if you're on, you know, on that, on that side of the, of the wall with that. But I feel like for most of you, what this card is, you know, here starting off with um, fulfillment, I feel like, you know, you guys are being let off the hook with something. That's what this card speaks of forgiveness. Okay. Where some of you, if you did do something, maybe karma, you know, took care of it on your behalf, but where some of you are maybe, you know, worried about, um, a loss or, you know, something like that, just know that, you know, things are being balanced out. So I feel like maybe something, a good deed you did in the past, maybe forgiving you for something now. Okay. So that's obviously not going to be for everyone. It feels really, really specific, but, um, spirit, can we have one more, please? one more for Pisces that double energy tried to pop out but it didn't fall so I'm not you know I'm not taking it but like I said this reading is about the Capricorn um energy so this new moon being in Capricorn so for some of you that could be definitely what that is talking about something that's you know was toxic um manipulative okay addictions codependencies things like that some of you are definitely getting some help okay some of you may be worried or concerned about not getting help the help that you need um with your finances or you know financially I feel like that's, you know, this is spirit saying that things are being balanced out, like I said, on your behalf, okay? Um, maybe some good karma that you did before is is showing up for you now. That's why things happen when they're supposed to. So um, I feel like some of you, if, if things have been a little bit difficult, that's going to change. That's getting better here. And that's because of your being on the right side of karma. Where for those of you, like I said, that have been struggling financially, that's changing here, okay? Where some of you where if you've been more recently or lately have been more in a space where you can't, even save any money you're now going to be transitioning into a space where you have money to save invest circulate donate all that okay so i feel like some of you are just going through like kind of like an overnight you know shift where something you've been waiting for is finally coming through okay so pisces but next best thing you could do we talked about is the king of swords with the judgment so that's about um you know, head over heart decisions, being logical, you know, with our decision making. Okay. Um, especially the, if this is talking about, you know, past, um, things coming back up, being logical, you know, really seeing where a person's mind is at before we, you know, take anybody back or decide that you're know, going to give chances and other chances to other people. We want to really see where their mindset is at, what are their true intentions. So I feel like for some of you, um, the best thing you could do is really be logical, you know, put your emotions aside in a situation before you give anybody any second chances, Okay, make sure that we're looking at the at the facts. Okay, make sure that we're really thinking it through, being logical about the situation, and um, really making sure that that is what's you know really exercising integrity, right? Making sure that we're um, making decisions from a place that's you know for the highest good of all, right? 
So, Spirit, can we clarify what's the king of lightning with judgment for Pisces? Okay. Devil, I told y'all, I told y'all, if it needs to come back out of will, and it did. It did. This shit has happened like three times today with different signs reading. So, um, but yeah, I told you it tried to come back out. And if it will, it needs, if it needs to, it will. So, can we um, clarify this, Spirit? So, for some of you, this is someone that may be trying to return to you, okay? Um, that may be coming back for a second chance, all right? And I feel like this person could definitely be toxic. This could be someone that's maybe a bit obsessed with you. Um, Queen of Pentacles. So, this could definitely be someone that you're that you're in a long-term commit, um, commitment with, okay? Someone that maybe kind of runs the household or kind of is in charge of the finances in some type of way, all right? Now, for some of you, this is... Um, this could definitely be talking about a court situation, okay? Something could be going um, in your favor on your behalf, but I feel like for some of you, Spirit is, is reminding you to really be mindful with your resources, okay? Don't let this opportunity for some of you that is getting something you've been asking for, um, something maybe like a court situation or something maybe going in your favor, this doesn't mean to then, you know, blow it and spin it on frivolous bullshit, okay? Make sure that you're really being mindful with where you're putting your resources who you're giving them to and not just blowing it on material things okay because the ego which is the devil and the tarot which is what this reading is about specifically it's interesting how it's showing up here in the reading but this is about making sure that you know the things we're spending our money on that we're spending it on what we really need not what we really want okay um making sure that we're not letting our ego make the decisions for us okay Meaning that that little energy inside of you that just wants to buy shit because it looks cool or because we want to show off or because we want to flex. Like that's all ego shit. Okay. Do you really need it? Does it really, really serve a purpose for you to spend money on that right now? Right. So this is about really using your resources wisely. Okay. Um, paying your bills. Right. Making sure all your bills are paid before you go spending on, you know, clothes or new makeup or, you know, something like that. So this is about really being logical about the decisions we're making at this time, making sure that we're not letting our ego drive our stability, like drive where we put our money, where we invest, where we, you know, um, spend or save or don't. Okay. All right. My phone's trying to die. So let me plug it in. <sighs> plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's get, yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely coming to some stability, some success, and this could be coming through another person, okay? So, you know, um, I feel like the spirit really wants you to be, um, pay attention to how you manage your money, basically, during this time, okay? I feel like some of you, like I said, have new beginnings coming in, new opportunities. You're, um, like we talked about earlier with your finances, your finances, I feel like, are going through a positive change. So it's going to be important for you to really start thinking from a place of like a boss if you want a million dollars start thinking like a millionaire you know what i'm saying like treating your finances and bank account as if you know you're that that type of you hold that type of status you're in that type of tax bracket right you have to start really not acting as if but being as if right? how would that person be what would being that person look like for me right all right pisces so let's get some fun size tarot that is not what these are called but they're fun size like me and they're accurate as fuck like me so we call them fun size all right spirit advice for pisces please advice for pisces so, follow your intuition high priestess here so this is again showing up again in this reading where you guys are at currently so you're currently if you're being guided or nudged to follow your intuition keep doing it because it's working but not only that your intuition i feel like at this time is heightened it's on fucking fire it's it's um, your intuition, I feel like is really, um, on point right now. So I feel like spirit really wants you, if you've been letting that guide you keep going, even if you don't see maybe the, um, exact evidence yet of, you know, whether this or not, whether or not, you know, the guidance you've been receiving is what you're supposed to be doing. Yes, it is. Okay. Keep doing it. If you've been doing it already, keep doing it. If you haven't, and some of you maybe know that you need to do that, this is the time to start doing it. Okay. I feel like for some of you, that is what this this current energy is, that some of you may be ignoring something here. Your intuition is telling you, but some of you don't want to see it. You don't want to look at that, okay? So I feel like for some of you, um, this is about really seeing it for what it is, and it might actually be better than you thought, okay? Spirit, what else for uh, Pisces for advice? Whoa. So we have the King of Cups and then the Ace of Cups, okay? So this is about being in um a state of emotional balance emotional stability okay this is about this is my my king of cups is my unbothered king right 
he is the king that <sighs> maintains inner peace no matter what's going on around him okay he doesn't let people fuck with his inner his uh internal peace so i feel like for some of you you're being guided to operate in that energy during this time um pisces which you know that's the water sign right so i feel like this is you know being in your own energy being allowing yourself to really be comfortable more comfortable with having those conversations with yourself okay by honoring your feelings all right forgiving yourself for times that maybe you don't want to have that conversation you didn't want to talk you know you don't want to acknowledge your shadow you don't want to acknowledge how you really felt about something okay I feel like some of you, that's that's how you'll continue to either um, stay in this energy or get to this energy, okay? Of really being able to just be comfortable with being in your feelings when you need to, you know? Where you can be, offer that compassion, that empathy or whatever is necessary to other people because you have it for yourself, okay? This is about self-love, okay? Some of you may benefit from, you know, spending more time loving yourself to having self-care days. For those of you that don't have self-care days established i feel like it'll be a really good idea during this time with this new moon in first new moon of the year to really implement um a self-care routine or you know something like that every week all right spirit any other advice for chariot okay so it's about being in alignment getting your head and heart on the right on the same page okay four of wands at the bottom exactly that's celebration you are supported okay you're having reasons to celebrate you're coming into reasons to celebrate so you know continue to do what you've been doing because it's working continue to love on yourself continue to spend time with yourself continue to honor how you feel about situations continue to you know um have your higher and lower self talk to each other right your feminine and masculine energies when they're in alignment that's when you when you're victorious you overcome things because the feminine energy comes up with the ideas and the masculine energy is the one who takes actions on them right so this is that receiving and, you know, giving that reciprocal energy that keeps things, um, the energy going, keeps the momentum going, gets things going all together, right? So, um, so yeah, spirit wants you to get in alignment though. You're going in the right direction. Um, things are about to, I feel like, start moving very quickly for you, Pisces. So um, continue to love on yourself, continue to, you know, let love in, allow yourself to be loved, okay? If it's coming to you, it's because you're ready for it, all right? So open up, open up to that. So get you guys some trinkets. So we have dolphin. Hell yeah. Spirit wants you to allow yourself to have a little bit more fun during this time. Okay. Allow yourself to play a little bit more. Um, I always recommend if you can have a, have a little fun with your challenges, even the things that seem hard, allow yourself to laugh about it as much as you can. Like sometimes I laugh, I tell people like too, like I'm laughing to keep from crying, but I'm really pissed off right now, you know? And, and that's not me pushing down, you know, me not wanting to cry. I'll eventually cry when I need to, but for some, but sometimes it does just help me um navigate through that energy a little bit better by allowing myself to just laugh over being emotional at that time you know it it, it has its time and place so I'm, I'm emotional when i need to be right when it's ready when it's time for me to i will so we have joy so i feel like spirit really wants you guys to follow your joy right now follow the things that make you feel joyful okay sagittarius we have sag um oh shit. we have virgo we have taurus and we have Capricorn. So some of you, you guys may be dealing with any of those signs. They may be highly aspected in your chart or those energies may be um, playing out in people around you. They may be of significance to you at this time. So Pisces, that is what I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed your uh, new moon reading. I hope that whatever you came to this reading for, you have received. Um, if you enjoy the way I read, um, I really appreciate if you guys would give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not. And until next time, you guys.